How's everybody doing? Welcome to New Normal Monday. Today we're going to be talking about values-based leadership. I was reading an article today in uh, Forbes magazine. The article was written by Harry Jansen um, Kramer Jr. And he was talking about these four elements that he puts in place for his value-based leadership uh, course and class that he, he conducts. And I thought they were really interesting. Listen to these four values and see if they are a part of your life. The first is self-reflection. Self-reflection. Can you be honest with yourself? What is it that you actually stand for? I heard one quote say, if you can't stand for something, you will fall for anything. What is it that you stand for? Self-reflection. Number two, see situations in multiple vantage points, in multiple perspectives. See situations in multiple perspectives. Just like on a basketball court, if you have four people watching a game for either end, two at the end of a court and two from the opposite sides, they're going to see different plays coming, coming about in different vantage points and different perspectives. There's more than just your perspective. There's no, more than just my perspective. Try to get an aggregate of them, as many perspectives as you can to make a great decision. Third, accept yourself for as you are. Accept yourself as you are. Recognize your strengths and your weaknesses. Recognize your strength and your, and your weaknesses. Other people might point out to you your weaknesses because that's what we tend to do. Um, if you think about people that you are associating with, usually when you are asked to describe somebody uh, about their performance, you, we usually tend to go to their weaknesses first instead of looking at their strengths. I challenge us to look at the strengths as well as the weaknesses, but look at their strengths. Look at what people are bringing to the table. So look at those strengths and accept yourself for who you are. And finally, number four, uh, display genuine humility. Display genuine humility. Now this takes on just looking at yourself, kind of going a little bit further from accepting yourself as you are. But in this case, it's a little twist. Don't forget who you are. Don't forget where you have come from. All of those things that make up who you are and the values that you now have, don't forget those things. If they are a little bit askew, just do a course correction on them so that you're, you're, you, that you're putting forward your best foot. A lot of who I am is based upon who my parents are and who they made me to be when I was growing up on the west side of Chicago. Who is it that formed your life and what lifestyle are you putting together for your values? Self-reflect. See situations from multiple vantage points. Accept yourself for as you are and express genuine humility. This is John Register with your new Normal Monday. Go forth and inspire your world.